Power is still out in one part of the Henderson Mobile Home Park where a fire devastated eight homes. Well, no power means no AC and in the sweltering heat that could be a big issue for people who live there. The 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen spoke to a tenant with how she's coping. Not many people here at the Alta Vista Mobile Home Park got much sleep last night as a fire broke out just as people were getting ready for bed. Thankfully, no residents were injured, but now they have to contend with no power in the midst of a scorching summer heat. Karen Gherkin and her dog sit in their car, the engine on and the AC blowing cool air. She has no power in her home, so to escape the heat, her car gives her some relief. She's open to going to the Heritage Park Senior Facility, where displaced residents can go, but she's considering options. If it's going to be on at 10, if not, then I'm going to have to get a motel room. It's been a long day for Gherkin. She didn't get much sleep Sunday night. She says she heard loud booms from either fireworks or a transformer inside the Alta Vista Mobile Home Park in Henderson. It shook the windows. It was that loud. A fire broke out and Henderson firefighters say the wind helped move the flames quickly. They were big, especially in the middle. The fire jumped from unit to unit, first responders telling people to get out. The police come running and said everybody needs to evacuate and they cut a hole behind this trip in through the fence. Gherkin says she began corralling her dogs and grabbed them in the midst of the panic. She and about 100 residents made it outside safely. Henderson officials say eight units were damaged and two firefighters were injured while trying to put out the blaze. Fire officials had the power shut off in the mobile home park as a precaution. The Red Cross will be at the Heritage Park Senior Facility for the next few days to provide any sort of help or services to anyone here at the mobile home park if they need it. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.